Uh, but before I get to the good news, uh, I find I must speak to the fact that uh, the past hour has been wasted uh, by another example of legislative vandalism by the official opposition, uh, by the NDP. I'm, I'm, I'm told that, uh, that it might have been a mistake uh, in signals, uh, and, uh, and I suppose we have to consider that. Uh, but I think this is just the latest in a long-running example uh, in both committee and, uh, and here uh, in the House, in debates in this House, uh, where the NDP has uh, obstructed, uh, uh, undercut, and, uh, as I say, uh, partaken of uh, legislative vandalism in the House. Legislative vandalism? How about the fact that we have had time allocation in this House, cutting off debate, effectively limiting democracy 82 times. He wants to talk about legislative vandalism. How about the fact that the Conservatives use in-camera uh, proceedings for any kind of real debate or discussion that happens at committee? He wants to talk about legislative vandalism. How about the fact that the chair rules Chief Alan Adam, the chief of Fort Chip First Nations, out of order because he wants to talk about the downstream effects, the impacts of the oil sands on his people, and the chair says, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, Chief Allen, if you could uh, actually wrap this up, because we're here to talk about the benefits of the oil sands. If they want to talk about legislative vandalism, how about the fact that we are at third reading on this bill and we have yet to hear from the minister herself not one word? Where is she? That is legislative vandalism. So.